G'day YouTubers, studio lovers, uh, you know, it's, it's dark in here, I don't know if you can see me properly. Anyway, I want to talk to you a little bit about this, uh, the Rolly C-pad. Uh, I received it yesterday, and now here's the thing. For people who are going out and spending money on Rolly products, the reason that they're so expensive, one of the reasons, uh, besides that the product itself is pretty damn awesome um, and feels great and works, I imagine, properly, it's all the software that comes with it, you know? So what happened was I ordered this uh, Rolly Seaboard block. Um, on eBay, you can see there's connectors here for putting other blocks here, here, or here, even possibly here if you want. Uh, so you can magnetize them, you know, stick them all together. I've ordered I think three blocks to go with the C pad. Uh, we'll see how we go. I'm still bidding, someone might outbid me. Um, but Here's the thing, I pulled it out of the case, and as I said, I was going to do a video about it. Um, I wanted to test it out, and the thing is it comes with Equator software, and other types of software, one or two other bits and pieces so you can record. And the Equator software is the synthesizers with all the really awesome instruments like oboes, uh, you know, double basses, cellos, uh, reed instruments like saxophones and things like that uh, that you'd be able to play very well on here and you'd be able to go up and down and all of the cool stuff. But, you know, like uh, because it was second hand and I, I did notice that the Rolly stuff being sold online almost anything that's second hand it's like almost brand new because the people bought it they tried it out for like a week or two and then they didn't really like the, the layout or the way that it works. So uh, they put it online and they sell it on eBay. Or, I don't know, what a Craigslist or Gumtree or Dundeal or Daft or whatever, I don't know. Um, and then you think, I'm getting a good deal because I paid a hundred bucks less to get this. Uh, they're 300 euros new. And I paid just under 200 euros. So just under 200 pounds. Um, and then, yeah, I put it in. Uh, yeah, plugged it in. Wanted to try it out. The computer can see it. The PC sees it, you know. So like when I open up GIMP or whatever, it's there. I'll try and give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Not GIMP, Bitwig. Uh, I just installed Bitwig so I could use Bitwig with this. Um, with this controller. Like I said, I'm going completely digital, which means I'm uh, getting rid of just about everything except, of course, that big electrical piano and this thing here, and maybe some blocks to do drums with. So, yeah, I open it in Bitwig, and I can't open it up under the Equator software, which is what would be normal, the Equator, the plug-in. So I'll be able to play all these instruments with five dimensions of MIDI. Five dimensions. It doesn't work. Um, because, yeah, I can open something. I'll open a synth thingy. Um, because it doesn't recognize it as what it is, a rolly product with five dimensions of MIDI, uh, it, it recognizes it as, as a MIDI controller or MIDI CC, so it has MIDI controls, but it doesn't do all the controls. It doesn't do tremolo, things like that. Uh, all right. So it doesn't do that, and it doesn't do the um, uh, changes as you slide up either. Yeah, 
it's just a MIDI controller, so it's not doing all the dimensions. No lift, no nothing. It does do the, um, I think it's a pitch. Not too well. So, um, I went online. because I wanted to find out what do you do and I went on the Rolly page and I found out Rolly it's a little bit like Apple in the sense that they only want one person uh, who owns the hardware to use the software and so because of that um, only one person can use this C board basically at one time and that means that um, the person who sold it to me, who who completely didn't didn't realise that this stuff would be a, a big deal, um, that person has already loaded up all of the software onto their PC, and now what's going to happen is that they have to deregister um, this device uh, so that I can register this device so that I can download the Equator software and the other pieces of software that come with it. Not the third-party software, because it's a second-hand item, but uh, the, the main driver software for using this properly. Um, I can download that when I get the proper access keys. Um, I also contacted the person that I bought the... I bought a 25-key um, a Rise. That's my Christmas present to myself. I uh, wrote to them and asked them to deactivate the license and so that they could so I could reactivate it and they did that within a few hours and that was really awesome this person on the other hand uh, is not so technically savvy and they just sent me their uh, pass information so they gave me their password and their um, uh, account name so I could access the Rolly dashboard on their behalf. The problem was that their, this particular device wasn't registered under their Rolly account. I don't know what the issue is, but the only way out of it, if you read the Rolly um, advice they have on the page here, if you go through it, basically it says that they can do it with, okay, either you thought you were buying it new and someone has used it before you so you've actually bought a second hand product so you should return the product but I know that this is a second hand product um, it says that if you're in contact with the person contact the person again and ask them to deactivate the license I did that but she can't really do it because I mean I looked at her account and she hasn't activated it to start with someone else has it probably before her or something where this thing can't be activated by its own um, password uh, its own you know it comes with this little uh, the smallest uh, serial number but Rolly says that we will uh, deactivate the license so that you can reactivate it if you show us two things number one uh, show us the proof of purchase so I bought mine on um, uh, eBay so I show my eBay uh, invoice so it's a legitimate sale on a legitimate site part one and part two is take a photograph of the actual the serial number on the device not the serial number on a card because someone could just give someone else a card and then the other person could activate the software and use the software without having this device you have to have the so uh, photograph of the device the serial number from the device and your receipt of purchase and then Rolly says we are going to uh, ensure that everything works for you uh, we will deactivate the account so that you can reactivate it yourself and this video is to see how long will that take I looked online and I did not see, I swear to God, I looked online and I did not see one single video talking about deactivating a Rolly license. 
deactivation of a rolly license or a reactivating a rolly license no videos like that whatsoever so this is the video all right it's going to be in two parts because the first part is me sending the email and then I guess maybe we just tack on the last part when I finally receive an answer from Rolly, which might be today, might be tomorrow, it might be a week away. But um, the important thing is I have to send them this information now. Okay, it's 4.44. I don't know if that's good luck or something. 4.44 on the 1st of the 11th. All right. The 1st of the 11th, so it's 1-1-1-2020. One, 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 I don't know if that's a good thing. 1-1-1-2020. One, 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 um, I'm going to send this email right now. Uh, let's have a look. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here exactly. Um, all right, so I've gone through this, and then there's a, a link at the bottom saying you can send your link. Um, uh, copy our link. Install Rolly Dashboard. Alright. Alright, this is my account here. And I'm not going to go through the other person's account that um, sold me the device. I'm going to do it as a person who has bought the device. Because that's who I really am. Alright, I bought this on eBay. It's not activated, or it has been activated by someone else, so I can't use it. And this is what's going to take to get um, my Roly device to work properly. Alright, so your products and licenses. I'm going to check that first. Register a product. Alright, this is that thing I'm trying to show you from before. Um, register a product. Some blocks. Enter my serial number. This is the one I've registered. It's already registered to another email address. Please ensure that you're logged into the correct account. So, now what I have to do is... I've got my copy of my receipt. My copy of the photograph of the actual serial number. And I'm just going to write a few words to Rolly right now. Deregister Rolly product bought second hand. That's my product line. Alright, so. Um, hello team. I've recently bought the Rolly Block C pad. And it's already registered. And it's already registered. I spoke to the previous owner and she can't deregister the product for some reason.
could you please deregister the controller so that I can register a new license ASAP. Could you please deregister controller so that I can register a new license ASAP? Thank you for your help. John Green. Send. All right, I tried to send it through my normal email and for some reason didn't read the uh, link properly. I did it through the Roly um, support page. You know, you have to log in. But I did it through that page. I've recently bought the Roly Block C pad and it's already registered. I spoke to the previous owner and she can't deregister the product for some reason. Could you please deregister the controller so that I can register a new license ASAP? Thank you for your help. John Green, there's a picture of my um, uh, serial number, a picture of a screenshot of the receipt from eBay, and on the 1st of the 11th, 2020, we have sent this email, and we're going to see now how long it takes to get it back. All right, we'll see how long it takes for them to deregister that I can get a new pin and register this product and then use all of the effects properly. That would be nice. Hey guys, I'm here for the second half. Alright, I said I was going to... I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing on the PC, but I got the a response from Roly. Alright, so I sent my email on Saturday afternoon. You were there. Was it afternoon? Anyway, so two days. So on Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening, I sent an email saying, please deregister this product. Here's a photo of its uh, serial number and a copy of the uh, sales receipt. And um, I sent them the email. I've got a response. And it's Monday. All right, so they don't work on Sunday. That's pretty good anyway. Um, hi John, thanks for getting in touch. I have gone ahead and unregistered this for you. So you are now free to re-register it at your own MyRoly account, which I already have set up. Uh, please let me know if there's anything else that I can help you with. That's pretty cool. Alright, so support-wise, Roly gets a thumbs up. The very first business day, they sent me a response and they deactivated it for me. Now, <laughs> I just bought uh the roly pad arrived the day after i got the the other one and um the roly pad it's the original so it's a harder rubber on it i'm going to do a review on the difference between this one and the new one because the new one's coming as well but I, i've had the same issue so again i have to find if you're a roly uh second hand buyer you need this on the very very back gray on black is printed a serial number. I'm not going to show it real close just in case you try to steal my serial number. But <laughs> uh, there's a serial number on the box. And oh, look, there's buttons on here. I did not know that. All right. I, okay, I didn't really know how to read any of this. Uh, but I can see the symbols on the bottom now. Anyway, so there's a serial number that Roly needs to show that this particular device will be registered to me and no one else. Um, and they need a copy of the receipt because I bought it on eBay. Uh, I bought this particular block for like 55 bucks. Um, $55 US. I had to pay some import charges, like 20 bucks, but it still ended up being less than $100 in the end. And I'm going to give it a go. It feels pretty good. It's true what they say. I think that the old Roly pad is probably harder because when you put your fingers on the Roly uh, C board, it's softer than the original Roly pad. But anyway, a big thumbs up to Roly for the support. Uh, I do appreciate it because, yeah, I mean, I spent 
like 200 bucks on this first thing. So now I can actually register it. Uh, I'm going to get back to Roly now and say I've got another product. Can you please uh, deregister that one as well? I've also ordered a new in the box um, Roly block, touchpad, light pad, and I've ordered new in the box uh, the uh, transport. So that'll be coming really soon. I'll make some videos. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll go through the process um, of registering my account in another video. I was just showing you how fast it was between contacting Roly to please deregister the product and them actually deregistering the product. Uh, not even 48 hours, let's just say 24 hours really because uh, there was a Sunday in the middle. So I'm going to send an email back to these guys uh, with the information for this Roly block so they can deregister that also. And so far there hasn't been any issue. As long as you're very straightforward, you know, don't make a big story out of it. Just say, I bought this second hand. Could you deregister it, please? Here's a copy of the receipt. You won't have an issue. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, it's funny because, you know, I thought, oh, you know, when I bought this and the person had it, hadn't deregistered, I thought that's very careless um, as a seller and this morning I got an email saying that an Arturia keyboard that I just sold like a week ago um, was registered online and needed to be deregistered to use the software that was my fault when you uh, are buying MIDI keyboards and MIDI controllers they usually come with software or some kind of registration so you could use the sounds and effects that the company uh, recommends or, or has produced for you uh, and in that case yeah go ahead um, go ahead all right I forgot what I was talking about now first thing in the morning just woke up uh, yes anyway I got an email from someone saying please deregister my Arturia product I did do that I sent them the links so they can re-register themselves and this happens all the time so, if you are a seller, selling a MIDI controller, selling a MIDI keyboard, keypad, uh, whatever MIDI controller of any type, just double check before you sell it on eBay or done deal or whatever, have a look online at the company's website whether you've already registered the product because you're using their really cool software and then deregister the product like get rid of your account completely so that when the new person uh, logs on with the same information the same serial number they're a new customer and uh, it will go flawlessly for them the last thing you want as a seller is the customer to call you back saying they can't use the product that they bought from you uh, so as a seller it's just really really poor salesmanship to sell someone something they can't use when I maybe sell these products in the future because, uh, like I said, I've ordered the Roly Rise, the, the Seaboard Rise, the 25 key one. Uh, if I don't like these or whatever, if in six months or a year I want to change it and sell it, I'll do my part and I will deregister these products before I sell them on to the next person. All right, thanks for watching. I know it's a bit long-winded. I got a bit confused in the middle. But, uh, yeah, Roly is, yeah, Roly gets 10 out of 10 for support. First thing Monday morning, ready to go. All right, so thank you, Roly. Uh, thanks for getting in touch. It was very, very quick, very easy. And uh, I recommend it to anyone who wants to buy a Roly product. If it's second hand, you'll probably go through this same procedure of sending a photo of the serial number on the device uh, and sending the uh, proof of purchase. When you buy the bigger keyboards, like the Roly Rise, like I think the 45 and the Roly Grand, um, uh, those particular ones also have a little card that has a serial number. So they want a photo of the card, a photo of the device with the serial number on it, and a proof of purchase. Because those devices, especially the Roly Grand, it's over $1,000. I think even the Roly 45 is about over $1,000. Uh, so yeah, this is serious stuff. And if you're spending money on secondhand gear trying to save cash, you still have to go through the rigmarole of doing the software. Like it or not. Alright, so I'm going to register this uh, in a new video. In a few seconds, I'll try to make a video of me registering my product. Uh, so check it out. I'll see if I can do a screen grab of that stuff. Alright, thanks. It's John Green in the studio. 
Thank you, Rolly. I'll be logging on right now.